Our little dwarven outposts have grown into hamlet first and now into village as we have reached over 60 population. Our inn is very popular and so are the two temples. The workshops operate day and night and our fighting dwarves train relentlessly. And apparently we're fighting a wolverine. That wolverine is not looking too good, it's bleeding heavily. Dwarves destroy this wolverine please. And it's finally hunted and it's dead. Good job, dwarves. Before the Wolverine so rudely interrupted me with her fighting, I wanted to talk about today's plants. I want to do some more growing and farming indoors. I want to extend our bedrooms and I want to establish a military presence down here in the caves because the troglodytes constantly try to breach to the surface. Bedrooms are gonna be hopefully the first to complete and most of them are already done. Excuse me, where's this miasma coming from? This is the... Uh, it's the rotten troglodyte corpse. Our corpse stockpile is clearly not big enough out here. Please bring them outside. There you go. That is much better. Also, we have a large rat that we have been hunting and brought all the way up here. The bolts are flying. A rat is still alive and it's ratching and it's bleeding all over this place. And it's running basically inside of our inn where it finally died. Look at the troglodytes. The troglodytes are coming once again. Go squad, attack. Oh, there's multiple ones over here. Like four? The, the dwarves are here. Oh, look at the slaughter. Oh, that is a proper battle. Some of them are running far away. Oh, we are destroying and killing them over the place. Finally finished them all? It was a short fight. But the troglodytes? No, we're still fighting. Ah, yeah, this was the last one, I think. Look at them go through the caverns, chasing them down. Our gem setter has been uh, taken by Fey Mood, and he has claimed a jeweler's workshop. And he needs rough gems, which we don't have. Great! Luckily for us, there are some out here in the mountains still. Oh no, there are goblin thieves. We got a couple. And there's another one over here. Dwarves, it's time to fight the thieves. Come on, fight them. Don't let them get through here. Don't let them escape. I think these guys are gonna escape. The dwarves did not manage to catch up to them, it seems. We did manage to kill at least one of them, though. I don't know if they actually managed to steal anything or not. I'm sure the other goblins that are visiting this place are not gonna be too happy about it. Oh, there's another one down here. Looks like uh, one of them went down below. Aerith Rackcombine, being the rightful heir, has inherited the position of Baron of Balance Razors. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. You are now a Baron. Finally, we're mining some gems out here. So hopefully, yeah, there goes, there goes the jewel crafter. He's gonna use that. And he's working furiously now with some uh, rough rock crystals. At the same time, we have some human merchants arriving. Another interesting development while we wait for trade and while we wait for that jewel crafter to finish. Adam Kostithus hat is now our mayor. He has been elected by the people. I guess we have enough population, so he's our mayor. That means he wants a study, a dining room. He wants decent quarters, which I believe he has now. He also wants some chests and weapon racks and armor stands. We'll fix that for you, Autumn. Don't worry about it. Right, before we do all that, let's trade. We're gonna buy the silver idol, which I believe is an instrument. Maybe some super brew? That sounds delicious and very tasty. Who wouldn't want to drink some sewer brew? Some more leather as well. Now let's see what they would desire. I'm gonna give them some of our mugs because we have about a million of them. And then we'll trade some shields. They do like iron shields, don't they? There you go. Wonderful. Thank you for your business, my friends. Salon Musaslek. Cat. Gem Setter has created Solon Musaslakat, a croc crystal statue of dwarves. She offers it to the South Inc. She basically made a statue named after herself. A rock crystal statue, beautiful. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. The item is a masterfully designed image of dwarves in rock crystal by Solon Musaslakat. The dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundation of passage ships by the south ink of the furnaces of language in the early spring of 100. It is encrusted with marquis cut rock crystal. Beautiful. We might stave that statue for... Oh no, what's this miasma here? What is, what is rotting? Ah, there's a troglodyte lower arm here. Yeah, that's probably not good. Please do not bring corpses or refuse in here. No, nope, no body parts. There's also a rotten rat over here that's why there's miasma here and there is a corpse of ngakang aslot tulux there's a corpse pile up here please deliver stuff here 
I beg of you. Let's allow refuse in here as well. The Umber Freckles are here, a performance troupe. Definitely seems like a lively place. Look at that, we have gold bars made. We, I believe, have some silver bars as well. Also other nice things, we have some, uh, I believe, K-Wheat coming in. That's also pretty good. Oh, look at that. We have Kumil Road Virgin. What a name. Uh, he's here for the purpose of eradicating monsters. I approve of this. He's gonna go down below. He's gonna chase some troglodytes. And hopefully troglodytes are not gonna chase him. Looks like the human pikeman has found a troll down below. And he actually managed to kill him. Well played, my friend. Well played. How are you doing? You're healthy? Good job. Uh, looks like we got a bunch of migrants arriving uh, once again, just as we built a couple of bedrooms. I haven't even properly finished these ones, and we already got like 12 new people. We got a gem setter, a leather worker, a stone crafter, a wood crafter, a dyer, and a siege engineer. That is very nice. We got also another peasant. Well, we're growing faster than we could dig out bedrooms and build them proper. That, I guess, is the price of success out here. So there's one thing that I have been thinking about for a while now. We don't really have any proper water source in here. And I was hoping we could find some down here in the caverns, but no such luck. Also, these Dralthas are coming upstairs, it seems. Where's the monster hunter? We need him, right? Anyway, we do have a river down here. And I was thinking maybe we could flood. A place down below on our base and make a small well that of course could be a dangerous operation but it might be something we need so let's maybe start by digging a small staircase down below try not to fall down here please it would be a shame if somebody ended in a pit oh no one of our dogs have died to that Draltha well I guess now it's time we go kill it I knew it was bad news go kill it friends here they go they'll go chase it down oh now you're running away well only a corpse remains and we're gonna go chase down another one that is down below doesn't know what's happening to it yet but our dwarves are coming with bolts and axes and swords and it's dead looks like the human uh, pikeman has found some troglodytes down here i think that's did he lose a helmet i think he's uh he might not survive this he's uh He's doing not so good. The question though is, should we help him? Oh, he's he's got three troglodytes. Yeah, he is dead now. The question is, are these troglodytes gonna come for us? They might. Oh, uh, there's also a cave troll. Uh, more and more monsters are coming through here. I think we might want to uh, lock these doors and not allow our people to go down here for a bit. Okay, you come through, buddy. Uh, we still have a bunch apparently here. Now, if anybody else is stuck down below, let me know. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got another one. Come on through, buddy. There's another. <laughs> what are you doing down here? There's so many down in the caves. Okay, well, that's not good. Yeah, we have a lot of people down here. Holy balls. Now, to make this happen down here, we need the uh, floodgates. Have we built one? We have. Good. We'll build floodgates over here. We'll place a lever just above here, and we're gonna link it to the floodgate. And there it goes. Now, if we show it, this is a link so if you tell somebody to pull the lever this thing should happen now and there you go oh there's a grizzly bear out here that could be very dangerous we do have caravan arriving as well so we'll have to deal with this grizzly bear in a moment i'm gonna tell heroic fences to go hunt it down oh would you look at that the liaison that has come with the caravan tells us that merit deserves a reward and he came in power to establish this colony as an official land of the realm we'll have responsibility the nobility that comes with this will have to live well so we're gonna have to take care of them these are good news but are also dangerous news. But yes, good news. I think it's fine if we nominate Autumn Castidhu's hat, who is already our mayor. Next year, they'll want bracelets and meat. We'll see if we can uh, produce some of that. But now, let's see if we can finish off this grizzly bear, who is very much running away from us. Go dwarves, shoot it. My god, this grizzly is pretty fast. But I think we'll be able to down it. The bolts are flying. It is still alive. We're still chasing it. I must admit my ranged dwarves are clearly not the best at this. But now it has been destroyed and it's finally dead. Peace returns back to passage ships. Now back to pampering our mayor. We'll assign this nice big bedroom to him. And he also wanted a dining hall. So we're gonna build him one over here. He's happy with his bedroom. He would prefer a better 
study and maybe a better dining room. Still wants a weapon rack and an armor stand. Now, let's trade. Let's take some instruments from them. And once again, maybe some leather. We have plenty of meat. We have some fish. Plenty of food anyway. We'll take the plump helmets though. And we'll take some fruit. We're not buying much and they wanted shields. So we're gonna sell them the shields they've made before. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh no, we got migrants incoming once again. Looks like we made it up to 87 population now. Wow. Our noble is a bit more satisfied now. Uh, at least he's happy with his... Uh bedroom he's got that armor stand and such now he's not very happy with his study and dining room quite yet but yeah he's got weapon rack and armor stand in here now made of copper also it seems like the brass guild a craftsworth's guild has been established how nice to see the guild of mountains has many members in passage ships and now requires a guild hall the location must be built and furnished with the hall designated for a farmer guild we will approve this request and we shall build a guild hall for the guild of mountains and where shall we build this maybe somewhere over here also good news Kastit Zuglar and the surrounding lands have now been made a barony and autumn has been re-elected autumn is now a proper baron and uh, requires a tomb as well well we'll make that happen I guess she's very eager to get herself entombed somewhere all of these things are a distraction I still haven't actually finished building this maybe Maybe we should do that. But I should probably tell my dwarves not to be down here in these passageways. That would be smart. And the Brass Guild also has many members in the passage ships and now requires a guild hall for a Craftsworth Guild. Sure, I will approve this as well. Looks like we have a lot of work to do out here. Let's establish a farmer's hall over here. There's, there's only 10 members in here. I thought there's gonna be... Uh, a bit more okay it seems like this place has been cleared of rocks which means we can go and do it as the way i wanted to do it ah there we go there's a dwarf coming he's gonna start mining a pit down here and hopefully we can see the water flowing down here he's gonna carry that rock with it it's gonna go down the stairs it's gonna splash through this area through the floodgates let's go and then it's gonna start filling this place up nicely this is gonna this is gonna fill up quickly pull this lever right now before I've, we flood the whole thing the hillux of lightquake has been founded nearly a day's travel to the west and incorporated into your holdings that's that's great to hear somebody go trigger this before we flood please <laughs> And there you go. The floodgates have closed and this has stabilized now. It could have left a bit more water in here, but it's fine. We're now like 5 out of 7, 6 out of 7, so it's almost full. So this is where we are on the world map. This is our passage ship's location. And a nearly a day's travel west over here is the Dwarven Hillocks of Lightquake. Roughly 50 people live in there and they are linked to us now. Very nice. We have friends now. Now, let's build a well on top of this over here. Hopefully we can actually use this to go all the way down here to where we have plenty of fresh water. There it is. Well has been built. It is operational. We got a rope, a bucket, some blocks and a mechanism. And now we have access to water because our drinks have been going down severely. We've been brewing constantly, but I think we have so many people now and so many guests that we just cannot keep up with the demand. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build another still over here. As you can see, we have plenty of food. Now, let's hopefully we can expand on drinks as well. Hopefully we'll be able to use this second still as well and continue brewing. We have plenty of plants. Hopefully we can keep up with the insane demand right now. Next thing we need to resolve is our uh, issue with bedrooms. We need like 30 more. And if we continue digging them three by three, it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to do what I often do. Make them smaller. Something like this will have to do. It also means we're going to need 30 beds and 30 rock coffers and 30 doors and 30 cabinets. Since we still need to make these ones more impressive, 
Uh, I decided to build some gold and silver statues. So I'm going to bring those in here, hopefully increasing this in value. Yeah, this is pretty good. Gold statue of Inut Glaze Flax. It is now a proper guild hall with that value. And the guild hall agreement has been satisfied. I'm glad you're happy, my friend. Now let's hope we can satisfy these guys as well with some gold and statues. A human bard went down below to fight a giant earthworm. I wonder how that's going for them. He's tired and the earthworm is also tired. I certainly hope they quickly resolve their issues because the winter is once again upon us. It's second of Moonstone. It's early winter time. Oh, when we have satisfied the other guys over here as well and created this as a proper guild hall. Still waiting for another silver statue. There you go. It's a fish. And they're happy. Good. Oh, we got snatchers again. That's gonna be goblin thieves. Or did they try to steal stuff from uh, the depot? Where are you goblin thieves? There you are. I see you. We're gonna send our squads to fight them. Although it seems like I don't think we can actually uh, catch these dudes because they are too fast and they have surprised us. Oh, no, but we are fighting. We are shooting this one. Good. Oh, he is down, dead, and dusted. Little bedrooms are slowly but surely being complete now over here we still need a lot more chests and such but uh we're working on it oh look we have spotted some gorlex down below just chilling among the million troglodytes and some trolls that are out here as well ah there's a monster slayer dwarf that is chasing troglodytes down below that's good to see good to hear and he's fighting troglodytes all over the place also we have finally improved our uh drink usage once again you can probably tell these guys to uh calm down once again another monster slayer has arrived that is good to hear i will approve this i think we're gonna create a new squad before we finish this over here this is what i've been wanting to do for a while now we'll have imush lead this it's a noise hammer dwarf but that will do we'll add bembo as well Ingis, Udil, and maybe Dead. We'll keep these guys at five for now. The armories of sitting. Yes, indeed, they will sit around and wait. So what I want to do with them is have them be stationed down below and protect our cavern entrance. This right here is going to be their barracks. And I want them to stay around here all the time. Now, these guys don't have quite all the equipment yet. We will work on that. They are really kind of badly equipped for now who also our woodcrafter has been possessed has he claimed anything yet oh he was way down here he has claimed a craftsworth's workshop and looks like he's got what he needs a uh, bone some logs jet blocks and cave spider silk cloth looks like he's making Kang bukok Gubelenum. Ustuth Alathurdim, woodcrafter has created Kang bukok Gubelenum, an apricot wood toktat he offers it to the South Inc. I believe that is an instrument. There it is. What a beauty. This is apricot wood talk that. All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of apricot wood and cushion jet kamakons. On the items, an image of a cushion cut gem in cave spider silk. The top hat is a large stationary percussion instrument. It consists of two hourglass stone drums with leather heads which rest on a ceramic stand. And so on and so forth. I like this very much. We can actually put this here inside our temple and we will do so. That should make our temple much, much better. And you know what else would be much, much better? If you guys subscribe to the channel. That would be great. I promise to take good care of you as I do of my dwarves. More bedrooms have now been completed. So we have plenty of bedrooms for everybody. We have 90 population out here. We got work orders set up so we can equip our dwarves down below with some uh, iron helmets, mail shirts, graves and gauntlets. They all have boots already somehow. We're also going to make a couple of iron battle axes, maces and spears if people need them. And my animals are starving because they're not in a proper pasture that's unfortunate it's hard to keep an eye on them when there's so many of them but i've been trying to have geese and other things that lay eggs in here in this cavern so hopefully they can lay some eggs for me spring has once again arrived what a beautiful sight to see and with spring comes the elf and the elf says we disrespected the trees in this area and that cannot be tolerated they are trying to warn me elves Bring it on, I say. If the elves want to warn us, well, so be it. We will prepare for that. We have many fighting dwarves here ready to fight any elf that might show up uninvited. And many fighting dwarves down below ready and waiting 
for any uninvited troglodytes to appear. The fortress has grown very, very much. It is now a proper town with population of 90 dwarves and some humans as well. If the elves think that they can defeat us, what I say is, let them come. Thank you for watching.